Welcome to the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. I'm Greg Bobinger, the director of the laboratory. The Magnet Laboratory is actually three laboratories in one. Our headquarters are at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida, and we have two branch campuses. One is at uh, the University of Florida in Gainesville, and the other is at Los Alamos National Laboratory in Los Alamos, New Mexico. We're together the biggest magnet laboratory in the world. We have the highest powered magnets. Uh, we hold more than a dozen world records. And we exist in order to host roughly a 1,000 visiting scientists every year who come to use our unique magnets for their scientific experiments. We also make magnets. In fact, most of the magnets we have here in the laboratory we designed and built ourselves. Our magnet engineering team is probably the most talented assembled anywhere. Uh, we're funded by the National Science Foundation primarily, and we get quite a bit of support also from the state of Florida and from the United States Department of Energy. So what can you expect today as you go on this tour through the Magnet Lab? You'll learn about electricity and superelectricity, or superconductivity as scientists call it. You'll learn about the different types of magnets. You'll learn how they work, and you'll learn what we use them for. There are several types of magnets. Permanent magnets are materials that are intrinsically magnets. So the magnets you have on your refrigerator are examples of permanent magnets. So basically, you guys use giant refrigerator magnets? No, we don't use permanent magnets at the MagLab because they don't get strong enough. We use electromagnets. What are electromagnets? Electromagnets use a coil of wire that conducts electricity along the coil and generates a very high magnetic field in the center of the coil. Some of you may have built electromagnets, in fact, in science class in school. The different types of electromagnets that we have include superconducting magnets, continuous electromagnets, and pulsed magnets. Uh, to give you a sense of how powerful these magnets are, they're about a million times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. And so rather than holding things to your refrigerator, like your refrigerator magnets, uh, you could actually pick up the refrigerator if you wanted. So what do you do with these magnets? What we do is put experiments inside the magnets and see what happens when they're subjected to high magnetic fields. We do research, both basic research and applied research. Basic research is adding to the body of knowledge of humankind that engineers and applied scientists can use to develop new devices, new technologies. One of our areas where we do basic research and applied research is in superconductivity. This is a phenomenon whereby some materials are able to conduct electricity without heating up at all. We have researchers who are trying to uh, understand how some new materials that have been discovered are able to superconduct. We have scientists and engineers who are working with superconductors to try to make them into very powerful electromagnets. Well, let's get this tour started. Some of our scientists and engineers will show you around, and please feel free to ask questions.